Anakin is really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> She's nice too! Um, my favourite memory is meeting Mr. Murray actually. Uh, it's not my favourite memory, that's a lot. But um, I thought it was interesting because when I was little in grade 9, I made like a digital project for the end of the year art show. And they said, it's like, go talk to Mr. Murray so that he can print it for you. Anyhow, we had some glue on it, and we left it to dry in the art room, but the glue dripped all over the floor. And Mr. Perry came in very angry at us the next day, and we had no idea who he was, and he was yelling at us, Why would you do that? Why would you do Come on, it's just basic skills, guys. Put some paper underneath it. And we were scared out of our minds. Yannickin would definitely be just how kind she is and uh, you know she's very approachable and somebody who you can talk about with your art and a very um, you're not concerned about how you're coming off you're really just trying to work out the ideas which is what you really want from a teacher you want somebody who really just wants to listen and is going to give you good constructive criticism and she she's just really very very kind and flexible when necessary, but also very firm when necessary, which is helpful. Zianik is one of the sweetest and most motherly teachers, but in the best way. Where she, she, she's not patronizing at all. She doesn't look down on us. She treats us as equals. Because whenever Ms. Yedekin, um touches art, it breaks. <laughs> and just every time, like, Miss Yadikin, I don't think, has ever been condescending in any way possible. Whether it be if I'm turning in something late, or if I'm behind a deadline, or even just with words of encouragement, or with development of my ideas. She's never been condescending, she's always been encouraging, and I don't know, I just don't think, like, she's, like, too nice, like, the nicest person I've ever met. that she's really, um, really kind, and she gives really good advice, and um, I feel like I could talk about anything with her, and I feel like she would always be helpful. Um, I feel like Miss Yannickin is a lot of the time just taking a bit for granted, because um, she's, she's just kind of there in a lot of people's heads, and I think that that's skewed because of how much work she actually puts in. It's just that, that she's quiet about it, and, and I like that she's willing to do almost anything for us, for her students. And, not get recognition for it. That's like a huge, huge thing. Um, and also, she's just one of the kindest people that I've, I've ever met. My favorite quality about Miss Yedekin is um, the fact that she's so motivational to students. Um, and like personally, I've experienced that. I think she's great at getting a person to realize their potential and helping them feel comfortable with it and then pushing them to test their potential. And I think motivation is a huge quality that is like missing in a lot of teachers that Miss Yedekin have. Okay, my favorite quality about Miss Yedekin is definitely um, the way that she takes whatever idea you come to her with and like she takes it upon herself and she does her own research and she will continue the conversation and I don't know, she, she's just, she gets so involved with what you're doing and I think that's a great quality to have. Just so nice about everything um, and she knows literally everything about everything. <laughs> like, you can talk to her about shopping for shoes, or you can talk to her about action movies and rap music. <laughs> um, my favorite quality about Miss Yedekin is probably her openness. Um, she's always there to talk and run by ideas with you, and I find those conversations with her to be one of the, some of the most constructive conversations that I've ever had at this school. Miss Yedekin, so nice. <laughs> no, okay, no, seriously, Miss Yedekin, you're my favorite teacher in the whole wide world. I had you for grade 10 history, and that was like 
the best class of my life. And Miss Yankin, you'll always be my favorite teacher. You're like the coolest chick I know. And you're my bestest friend. And I'm still trying to figure out where you live. My favorite thing about Mr. Barry is, well, there's there's all the really obvious stuff like how, how devoted he is, how compassionate he is, how selfless he is when it comes to the department. Um, but I, I like the way he talks to us as as individuals rather than students because I find often with teachers, um, they'll just kind of talk to you like you're you're a clone of everyone else in the school. And uh, with Mr. Barry, I know how much work he does, and I know how many students he has, and I know how distracted he probably is most of the time but he still makes you feel like an individual and like an important individual. Uh, so that's my favorite thing about him. Like a thousand kids to teach you. He knows all of their art and their like artist statements and stuff like by heart or something. It's crazy. What I like about Mr. Barry is that he's really intelligent and he really inspired intelligence into the rest of us and he made me want to be a more articulate and conceptual person. And um, I also like that he believed in the power of art and that he thought art could make us all better people and um, he believed in what we were doing here. Uh, my favorite memory about Mr. Barry is probably when, or at least one of them, is when he made the empathy speech and then turned it into clean all the art rooms. <laughs> Mr. Barry is one of the most hardworking people you will ever meet and he's, he's given up so much of his own time and Things, things in his own life for the visual arts department. And I love calling him a teacher because most of us would sooner call him a friend and mentor than a teacher. Um, he's been a very big pillar in how I've developed everything as a person and in my art. And I just think he's someone that <laughs> you either like or you hate. Mr. Barry is such a hard-working person and he's so devoted to so many people. Um, he's, he's really, like, he's a real person. He, like, grew well, yeah, up, obviously, he's a real person. But he's just, like, he's just so true to himself and he doesn't try to be a different person than who he is in front of his students. And he really encourages us to think and explore and challenges us. Okay, so my favorite quality of Mr. Barry is kind of his ability to like rule the world. He, I feel like he, no, okay, you feel like you, you figured out something and then you're so excited to tell him, but you realize that he already knows. Like he knows all. True. Um, I think a lot of people really know how to do art and a lot of people know how to teach, but I think Mr. Barry is kind of one of those people who's combined it very well into like a total package. Um, he can teach students our age in a way that I don't think many other people, if anyone can. I agree. Do you feel like he knows everything about you and is judging you for it? Um, and that wasn't a bad thing in grade 10, but in grade 9 I was so scared. Um, and then of course he became my favorite teacher and, and one of my favorite people. Um, my favorite memory um, of Mr. Barry was probably the first day that I arrived at USA. Um, and unlike any other teachers that I met that day, um, he asked me to speak about my work and to tell the class um, what my interests were. And um, I just felt immediately that he was somebody who really cared about my well-being and really cared about and was interested in what I was working on and what I wanted to do. I don't think I've ever like, been traditionally taught anything by him and I've just been supported. No, no, he's just really cool. He just so I would have to say that my favorite memory from just being in visual arts at ESA is definitely portfolio day and more specifically after portfolio day when we had all finished and it was before we were really cleaning up but we all kind of got together for a group photo and it was just everyone was so happy and so satisfied and fulfilled and everyone was just glowing it was the perfect moment because it it both melded our past and all of this work and friendship and this you know glowing future that we've been told about so much. Mine's not so much a favorite memory as a favorite space, just like the discussion.
sessions we had in room 102 in that kind of whole studio environment was by far one of my favorite things. <laughs> okay, my favorite memory is the first time I got the art feeling inside. I think it was in grade 10. And um, it was after I struggled really, really hard trying to figure out what I was going to make art about. And I realized that I actually have stuff to make art about. And I had like a lot of potential and it was due to Mr. Barry and Miss Yedekin in grade 10 like helping me and pushing me to succeed, yeah. Um, so my favorite memory is probably Portfolio Day just because it felt like it was a culmination of everything we had worked for for four years and everyone was just kind of coming together and working towards this goal of like our future. <laughs> you're not gonna like, uh, just, you're not gonna lie to us about the project and I think that's really helpful because what are we gonna do with lies? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I like both of you are really easy to talk to. I know you already said that, but it's true and that's I didn't say that oh, well I think you're both really easy to talk to. And um and that's really important, I think. Uh, and I've learned so much from both of you and so I basically owe you like almost the entire world that I have right now and definitely the perspective I have on things, which yeah, is that's, good. That's definitely true. I, I wouldn't have an appreciation for the arts if I didn't take this course. I think I would still have an appreciation for it, but... I would, definitely not. But mine has definitely grown a lot. Like, yeah. I'm I never thought of art as an intelligent pursuit. I always thought it was just as sketching. And it's like the classes we had throughout the four years that actually got me to... Okay, so my favorite memory from my four years was definitely art camp last year. Um, we were all planting these like butterfly bushes outside and then afterwards we all kind of sat down and talked and um, I don't know, Mr. Barry kind of summed up all of the reasons like why we do what we do and just how great of a community we all are. So yeah, and I, I don't know, I guess I felt like I was a part of something.